We're taking out this 15 ton condenser, this three phase outdoor condenser, and we're putting in three five ton Samsung Hilux condensers. And we're gonna attach those to the three indoor furnaces, gas furnaces. I'm gonna show you the inside. This is the outside. Both compressors are out. There's only one set of line sets that comes out here to this outdoor unit. There's the disconnect box. I don't even know why it's running. You see how it splits into two circuits because this is one compressor, that's another compressor. Really loud in here. There's the thermostat. All these furnaces are twinned together. Three five-ton furnaces, three five-ton coils. We're gonna take and cut copper right here and here, and then here and here. Same thing here and here, and then we're gonna run it across there to our three five-ton units instead of angling it over there. There's the returns. There's the duct work. All right. William's got the old 15-ton condenser removed, and now he's cutting some PVC to make a sleeve for the hole for the line sets that we're gonna run to those three outdoor units, those three five-ton Hilux condensers. Let me show you the line sets that are remaining coming down the wall, and then William, what he's doing. So there's the rest of the line sets. He's gonna cut that out. We're gonna get this swept off. There's a bunch of ants, so need to get all those leaves removed. And William is cutting this PVC three inch PVC so he can make three sleeves for the line sets to go to the outdoor unit. Right, Willie? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. Since we want the line sets to be a straight shot, we're going to set the outdoor units right here next to this pad. We're not going to set them on this pad. We're going to set them on three separate pads right here. One, two, three. This is just a progress update. Progress update. We've got the three condensers set on their pads. We've got the line sets run from the furnaces to the outdoor units and they've got the air handler control units on the wall and then they're mounting the thermostats so i'll be wiring those up let me show you the hilex condensers line sets condenser number one condenser number two condenser number three they're all 40 amp breaker five ton units so we've got number eight wire there got some three-quarter conduit we got to take this box out and this condenser was run off this box, which is a no-no. And that's probably why that 15-ton condenser, those compressors, uh, didn't last very long. Because this right here is pulling the power down and when it starts up. And then if those compressors are running, that's no bueno. So we're going to take this disconnect out. We're going to take that unit off of this. And then they'll have to run a new wire to this condenser. And we're gonna mount a 125 amp box and have three breakers, one for each condenser. Exciting, I'm gonna show you the indoor. Man, that looks good. Probably not gonna do line hide cover on this job, probably just gonna seal it up. And then I've got some two inch, two hole clamps to hold the line sets to the wall. And then this is the signal cable. And that's it, that's the control wiring, two wire from each condenser to the air handling control unit. It's a nice copper, Willie. Thank you, look, seven, eight, eight foot, three inches long, and a bad hand, look at that. Get yep. close up, look at that. That's what happens when you get too close to Darren, tries to yep. bite. Let's go see what Darren's doing. <laughs> Darren? Oh no. There he is. Look at that face. Right. That's the, I did something. That's that, I'm beautiful. <laughs> beautiful so here are the air handler control units here's the three thermostats right next to each other and then here are here are the three furnaces three five ton furnaces three five ton coils Darren's taking the relay out and all the old wiring thermostat wiring and we've run new thermostat wiring here's our signal cable it goes into the air handler control units these furnaces were twinned before they're not going to be twinned after progress update now I'm gonna use the RX 11 flush to flush out these indoor coils so that they're clean and clear so that we don't have any potential problems down the road 
with this system. If you want to see this, check out the video in the link in the description where I show you how to use the RX-11 flush. Looking good. Look at that. Three five-ton Samsung Hilux condensers. New breaker box. Single phase. Time for the startup. We've got our three T6 Honeywell thermostats set to cooling. Here's our air handler unit control kit. Wire to our thermostat. Wire to our indoor unit, our furnace. Our red and our common R and C. That's our 24 volts. And then our communication wire to the outdoor unit. It's pretty simple. We got all the coils put back together. And there's our three furnaces. There's the furnace wiring. Pretty simple. Only thing we didn't hook up was the twin wire. All three furnaces, the blowers are running. You can see right there, it's blowing some air. I'm gonna go outside and check the charge. Something you will need to know for the installation, check out the air handler unit control uh, installation manual. And then right here it says, configure the thermostat as a two-stage heat pump and configure the four-way reversing valve to B. So it energizes the reversing valve in the heating operation, not the cooling operation. So take your installation instructions, go to step 218 and set it for B. Not O, but B. Because if you don't, then when you energize, when you turn the thermostat on cooling, you're gonna be pushing heat out your vents. You don't want that. Got my quarter inch to 516 adapter on unit number one. Low side is 140. Let's check the high side. High side hooked up, high side is 325. Now, I'm gonna check the other two, make sure they're working properly. And this is it, you got the line voltage coming in. Uh, 40 amp max overcurrent protection, so we got a number eight wire. And then we've got our two wire communication hooked up, F1 and F2. And it is polarity sensitive on F1 and F2. Always ground that communication cable at the outdoor unit. I love it. So I got the manual for that Hilux condenser. Turn to page 18. Calculating the additional refrigerant charge. So we've got anything over 24.6 or 25 foot add 0.5 ounce per foot. So we got 50 foot line set. That means 25 times 0.5, and that's what we're gonna add. All three outdoor units are running full speed ahead. I've got it set to cooling on 68, and I've got a temperature probe measuring the suction line or the vapor line temperature. Let's go check it out, and then we're gonna go inside and measure the temperature split. Let's see what that vapor line is. Looks like it's 51 degrees, so. Now let's go inside, measure the temperature split. So all the thermostats, I set them for 68, but they were all 72 when I got here, so it's working. Now I'm gonna check the temp split. The temperature of the supply air is 52. Found a good spot right there in the flex band to take the temperature. So 20 degree split, pretty awesome. They should stay nice and cool in here now. Awesome. More information you may need about installing the Hilux systems. This is a relay kit for those systems. And it says the relay kit for the Hilux model number to provide control of up to three fan speeds with a, when applying to PSE motors. So there's a couple wiring diagrams, 120 volt, and then right here it says URK38 is a relay kit for use with Hilux ACU model number to provide control up to three fan speeds when applying to air handling units with PSC motors. But it says right here it's not compatible with furnaces. Must be installed indoors. So you may need this relay kit. Now if we go back here you can see you always have to have this. This is the ACU control kit. But I didn't have to have this because I was installing these on furnaces. Now you can get the submittals and everything here and you can get this 
uh, from two tons all the way up to five tons. So check out the website, samsunghvac.com. Here are the three manuals I used during the install. This one is for that Hilux condenser. This one's for the control unit. And this one is for the T6 thermostat. All of these you can download. You can download this one by looking up the model number of this thermostat and typing in installation manual. These two you can download from samsunghvacdownloads.com. The Samsung Hilux project went well. The equipment's working great. I'm glad I chose to offer this as the option to the customer. I did look at doing a 15 ton condenser. I did look at doing three five ton single phase and three five ton three phase condensers. One of the options, there wasn't enough power outside and I would have had to run more wiring and more conduit and breaker box and that was an added cost. But I wanted three condensers to match to these three five ton units because I wanted more redundancy. You see, if one system goes down now, we still have two systems. If two go down, we still have one. And these people have been without air for, I think, two or three months because that 15-ton condenser was there. Both the compressors went out, and they shorted to ground. There was actually black oil inside the line sets for that system, and I'm glad I was able to use the RX-11 flush to be able to clean that out. You can't mess up installing this Samsung Universal condenser, this Hilux condenser, if you read the manuals because it is great material it is step by step and Samsung did a really good job with this equipment I'm very happy with the outcome I'm very happy with how well it's cooled because you can see it was 80 degrees in there and then the next day when I came back it's 72 degrees the systems are shut off I run it down just to check the temperature split but it's working great Go check out Samsung HVAC downloads. If you want more videos like this, definitely check out my playlist, HVAC Tips for Technicians. I've got a lot of live, real field experience that you can learn from, and you can learn how to be a better HVAC technician. I hope you liked the video. I hope you learned something. Let me know in the comments if you did learn something, what it was. If you don't have a question, that's okay. Let me know who you are. Let me know where you're from. Definitely click the subscribe button. Click the join button if you want to be a member. Hit the like button. Smack that bell. Ding! So you know what I'm doing. You've been watching HVAC Tips for Technicians. I'm Tad, and I'll keep you cool if you let me.